Hey guys, Alejandro Mir here. Um, just uh, wanted to show. I always want to show this to you guys. Um, I just kind. I, uh, I, if y'all know, I'm I'm going to college for welding and uh, and uh, where where uh, the college they go to, they throw they throw these out. Like they go, they throw out like ten of them a day. And what these are for this is for uh, holding in uh, welding rods. I think they're eighteen inches long, or they're pretty long rods and. Um, it's like 6010 and 7018 if you're a welder and you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, I just figured it'd be a good quench tank. I mean, it's steel. It seems to hold oil pretty well. I mean, it's really dirty oil, but, uh, that little, uh, that little soup can I had earlier. I don't know where it's at now. The soup can I had, you know, that's all the oil it had, so I could fill that up and quench a blade probably the size of this, uh, bastard file that I use for when I'm welding pipe. So I'm not sure how big this is. Uh probably eighteen a little bit under eighteen inches, but yeah. If you are you guys want a cheap, easy uh <laughs> well uh um quench tank, go ask a welder or find someone who welds and you know, ask them for one of these. They they're completely useless after they're done with after they're used up. I mean unless the person wants to use them something else. But uh yeah they're this is totally free. I just asked my instructor if I can keep it. She said, "Yeah, sure, whatever." And I took it home. And then I probably take. I'm probably gonna take home a couple more later on because you know it's a little bit thin. But I mean, it's free. No one. No, there's no need for them after they're they're used up. Uh, yeah. So ever uh, if you're looking for a good quench tank, look for a welder, and you'll get a good sized quench tank. I mean, I have I have medium sized hands in it. Seems to be a big enough uh, tank for me to quench just about everything I need. I uh, probably need to fill up more oil if I want to quench these small blades so that I don't want to reach marm all the way down there. So, yeah, I'm going to get more oil and put that in there. And hopefully, in a few days or a few weeks, I'll have a, a new shop. Probably about the same size as this one. Um, the only difference is it's going to be outside. Uh, my parents got a. 10 by 12 by 6 foot feet 6 feet tall uh, steel shed from Lowe's and I'm the one that's responsible for uh, putting it together so I'll make a weekend out of that and you know move all the stuff in here into there and probably buy a new workbench and all the other good stuff um, yeah oh and uh, sorry I didn't uh, I didn't uh, show you all the things I forged. I just forged a couple of quick little things like a fire poker and a leaf and I tried forging a robot spike knife but uh as luck would have it. Uh my family decided to come over that day, my uncle and my grandma, so I spent the day with my family. And afterwards my sister brought bought my niece, so I mean I went inside real quick, took a shower and to spend the day with my family. Um I had blisters on my hands right here, right there and just about everywhere else but uh, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't be a problem right now. I have to go get some x-rays on my wrist because I might have a carpal tunnel. Or I might not. Hopefully I don't. Hopefully it, you know, it goes away, but I'm gonna get some x-rays tomorrow and hopefully, uh, I can, you know, keep forging my knives out. If not, I'll just grind them out. Which is pretty fun, but, I mean, hammering them out, forging them out is a whole lot funner. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, uh, don't want to leave on a very... I don't want to leave this this video on bad news, but yeah, I might have some problems in my wrist. Uh, it doesn't hurt bad or anything. It's just uncomfortable, you know, knowing that when you when I do this, it kind of makes it it feels like it's popping, and you know, my thumb I can feel it up uh, up my form forearm like you know something popping. So it's probably something wrong with my nerves and my bones or something. That's what the that's what the doctor said. But uh, yeah, guys, if you. Yeah, uh, just wish me luck, guys, on the whole, you know, getting the x-rays, hopefully it's nothing too serious, and if, it, if it's something serious, hopefully the surgery isn't too much. But, um, yeah, if y'all like this idea, go ahead and share it to whoever, you know, might need a big old quench tank or something, or some sort of steel container. Uh, yeah, that's just about it, guys.